Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I guess is it is it interesting to have this type of game, you know, SEC game in the, in the middle of the Big Twelve, and how nice is it for you guys? Man, I think it's great. Uh, twofold. Uh, my first two years here, we've been on the road, played at Texas A and M which was a top 10 team at the time, I think. And then we went to Vanderbilt, which is a tough place to play. But I think it's a great opportunity. I mean, and that's what I'm going to talk to my team about today is, you know, we're 11 and 8. <clears throat> I think last year, I think this is right, we were 13 and 8 going to Kansas. This is a time that I think our teams have, have gotten better and, and, and made the next step. You look at Vanderbilt, we looked at their schedule, excuse me, their record when we played them last year, you know, 9 and 11, 3 and 5 in the SEC. They beat us, they end up getting the tournament. And so this is a this is a huge game because it's the next game, but it also is another top twenty five win, which that would be back to back weekends, you know, that we you beat Tech and you beat Tennessee. Now we're gonna have to play really, really well. Uh, they're tough, they're physical. Rick's one of the best coaches in the country. Uh, but I love the challenge because this is the best league in the country. Um, it's a special day for everybody, SEC Big Twelve. And you know we haven't been able to be successful in the last two years, so we got to we got to help our league out uh, Saturday. If you were making out the the schedule, would you play it now or would you play it? Yeah, in a perfect world, yeah, you'd probably like to play it in December. But I think uh, and use this and have one bye week. Uh, but but that's not how it is. It's uh, this day. Uh, they they make it a special day for the SEC, and the SEC is having a tremendous year. Um, and so this, I think, our league can get a lot of really good quality wins. Um, you know, if we all play well. But everybody's going to play well. I mean, the matchups are really good from obviously West Virginia, Kentucky to Kansas, Texas A&M to, uh, you know, us ourselves in Tennessee and, and on down the line. Is there a good sense that it's almost like a psychological reset? You're not quite at the halfway point in conference season, but can just kind of a little bit take a breath and, and restart a few things and gather momentum that way? Yeah, I mean, when you go um, – like I looked at the tape, I watched tape with Nick yesterday. and just went through every offensive possession at Texas, you know. And and I, I thought the you know because I'll call myself out at all, at any time. It's not about, you know. I thought Baylor and Texas Tech. It was two or three things I walked in the early morning shoot around. I said, hey, for us to be successful, we got to do A and B. I think you know, I, we told them A and B what to do. Now I talked about C, D, and E, and I probably shouldn't have. Um, just saying, hey, if they do this, then we got to do this. Just, hey, let's just do A and B well, because we've done A and B well. We've been really good. And so because when you go back and watch the tape, it's like, what's the first thing we said? Hey, you know, do this. We didn't do that enough. When we did it, we did some good things. And so that, that, that's on me. I'll take that. i got to, again, be, be simpler. But when you watch the tape, hey, when we do it right and do it sharp and do it at great pace, we get good things. And so that's what we got to focus on. Um, it's like I was joking with Travis walking in, and you know, you take two games, you know, we're all sitting here probably saying, "Man, Iowa State, man, look at them, man, what about what you know?" And it's a possession against Texas where we really got three on two to the basket to finish. Oklahoma State where you could say, "Hey, you make a free throw," and you're up eight three minutes to go, and so you're, you're close. But we got to learn how to play on the road better, which we have, we haven't lately, and then at home we got to continue to grow. But we got to get better day in practice. Got to continue to build habits. Uh, and like I'm going to talk to these guys today, it's just there's there's standards and rules. My one rule is just do the right thing. Everything else is just these are the standards that this program needs to have if we're going to continue to to grow this program and, and grow you know Iowa State basketball. What's missing from turning those close games rather than the you know the road games? I guess I, I think uh, you know <laughs> you know Monday you know. Monday was probably a little bit of everything. You know, we got to get off to a better start. We did look fatigued at times, and I was just I'm gonna tell Solomon this. Solomon's got to be great every day for us because he's our blue collar toughness motor. The two home games, Baylor and Texas Tech, he was terrific. He's got to be great for us, you know. And then our three guards need to play well. And the one thing against Texas Tech was great is man, two guys off the bench came in and did some really good things. And so we have to all max out. That's how we've got to get better. But we've got to be more consistent. And defensively and really in ball screen defense, you know, we'll go chart the game against Texas when we hedge ball screens. Did they score? Didn't they score? When we didn't get to the point of the screen and hedge it the right way, did we get a breakdown or not? You know, when we got ball reversal, did we score? When we got, when we kept the ball on the same side, did we get some back? We got to be more consistent. And like I challenged Nick with, hey, Nick, man, 
you take ownership out there. I trust you. I believe in you. You got this. You know, you guys don't need to look over me and for me to tell to say things. You know, and I'm going to be with Solomon and Donovan and Nick and, and challenge them. And I challenge in my way. That's why I'm not a, you know, to say, hey, man, this is, this is your guy's deal, man. I'm here to help. But, man, you guys, you guys take this thing. You know, you, you understand what it takes. Now let's go. Because we got a lot of time left. But it's one game at a time. And today it's practice. And then I'm, I'm excited. Tennessee, we're going to play really well. They're really good. How do you feel about your three-point defense? Terrible. You know, I mean, it's been terrible. And it's, you know, it's partly, it's, a, it's like I'll talk to them about that today. It's, it's kind of on all of us. You know, hey, we've made such a conscious effort of, hey, you know, gaps or, hey, you know, non-shooters. Some non-shooters are making shots against us. And so, well, we've, you know, we've got to do a better job of taking away the three-point starting, you, starting Saturday. Does that come with just trying to lessen attempts for teams? Or what, what's your – Seems like there's two contested, different schools. Of I stats think contested there. shots. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, like Roach, I think had two man to where it, man, if we're up there and we're high hands and we're contested, it can't be Oz's seven threes here mm -hmm. where six of them are counter seams. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones we can't live with. The ones at TCU where they're just wide open. We have to pressure it more out there. We got to recover better. We got to help help each other if we're in rotation. And then we got to stay out of rotation by containing the ball. But uh, it, it's been bad. Uh, it needs to get better, and, and it will get better, and that'll be the point of emphasis with us, you know, for for this weekend and then going forward. Is Lindell going through that cycle, that period, yeah, cycle, that period right now where a lot of freshmen go through? What are you, twenty games into the season? I don't know how many games. Yeah, I don't season. know. I mean, I I don't know. He's a good player. He didn't, you know, did he play great at Texas? I mean, I, mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, do we need him to play well to win? Yes. Uh, <laughs> has he bounced back most of the times? Yeah. So I expect him to play well. Because uh, he's still been in the gym, he's still working, he's by the office, he's watching tape, and so, um, you know, we we you know, we do we expect a lot from him, you know, whether it's six months freshman or not, you know, I saw today we got, you know, us and Duke have two freshmen averaging double figures in conference. I think we're the only two schools, but you know, those guys. So those, there's a lot on those guys, uh, and so uh, it's just we've got to limit their struggles. And they've got to help in that in that area. What sticks out to you about Tennessee on film? Just their toughness. I mean, they they are a tough, tough. You know, Grant's really good. He's physical. He can really score 15 feet and in. I mean, he's a monster. Uh, but I just think the way they play, from an energy and a toughness standpoint, if we win the game Saturday, it's because be it's because we play with greater toughness and greater energy. If we lose, that's probably going to be the reason why. I don't think it's coming down to you know, X's and O's and, you know, this and that. And, you know, and underneath that, a bounds play or a half court set, it's coming to where, hey, when they try to duck us in, are we tough enough to get around in the post? Are we tough enough to defense a rebound and play with great pace? Are we tough enough to fight their ball screen defense and great ball, get great ball reversal? This is a great, great mat matchup standpoint from our standpoint of for us to grow. And us to get better, and it's going. It got a chance to be a great quality win. With Duran kind of reemerging lately, um, do you see some minutes at the four? Or is he maybe, ready? maybe. Um, I don't know if this is the right game for it. Um, could be, but uh, possibly going forward, we just have to see. Um, we just have to see. Could that help a little bit with the three-point defense since he's presumably a little bit quicker than the other foot players? Um. Uh, yes and no. I mean, it, yeah. And if you if you think the ball, if you think the threes are coming off, you know, Ozakowski's ball screens, pick and pop. But if they're coming off, you know, driving kicks or five man ball screen defense, and I don't know. I, I, yes, in a way, and then it also depends on what the other teams doing. But um, and then there's also is is it, you know, do we want, you know, you know, if, if it's Bomba in a ball screen or you know. You know, and he's stuck. Are you switching that? I mean, there's a lot of different, a lot of different factors, you know, with that. But he can, he can help us. Um, I think he's been good. He's getting better. Um, you know, we may try to play that in practice a little bit the next two days and just start to get a little bit of reps. How, how 